driving around uh, or down to London from Edinburgh. Uh, we've been on the road for about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, someone fell asleep. And uh, once we figured out all this road signs and everything, it's pretty easy. And figuring out to stay on the, the left side of the road. But as you can see, it's raining. We have a couple of stops to make before we get to London. So I'll update you then. We're literally at the bank. Ooh, that's a view. That's a nice wow. one. You wanna just pull in here? Is this is private property? No, this is private. <laughs> I mean, you can just pull over right here. Uh, oh, there's a swan. There's a swan chilling there. We made it to our first stop, Lake District, as you can see, a lake <laughs> <laughs> and some mountains and shit. There's gotta be like a little town, I think. So. Yeah, there's a town. I mean, look, and then there's like swans and stuff. Those are teepees. Those really are teepees. There's a boat. And a boat. Someone's trying to come out. Ingrid, hey, what did you just see? A black sheep. Just one or how? Oh, oh my god, like 50 of them. Are you they happy? were all hiding in one spot. <laughs> <laughs> this whole trip, she's been trying to find black sheep. Today we saw three, and, and then, then a whole farm of them, basically. <laughs> so she's happy. And she's, you can go home now. You said right? Yep, now I can go home. All right. So you heard it here. She can go home now. <laughs> Don't have to spend all this money traveling <laughs> around Europe anymore. She saw black sheep. She's hey, good. hey, hey, hey. So if you didn't know, <laughs> in the UK they drive on the other side of the road. So as you can see, we are on the left. And he's sitting on. The <laughs> and yeah, and he's sitting on the wrong side of the car. <laughs> <laughs> they put the steering wheel on the wrong side for some reason. <laughs> oh, look at that weird cow, hairy thing. Those are the cows. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Was it a long-haired cow? Yeah, they, oh they're like God. really fuzzy-haired cows. I saw the cow and I was like, there's the cow! And dropped it. Oh my goodness. It was really funny. This is where the hairy cows are. Yeah. And the black sheep. Jump down to the water. I mean, maybe over there that kind of looks like it, or I don't know. You can jump down, but then how are you gonna get back up? Is a good question. Right? 
right? There's one back there, I think. Further back? I mean, I know we kind of walked past or drove past something. I was like, oh, look. I mean, it's more of like the climb because you can jump down. It's more about getting back up. So we just got out of the car and we're trying to find a way to get down to the water. It was like a ridge, basically, or just like a ledge. So a retaining wall here. That's the extent of what we can see. I think there's more open. Yeah, up front there's more. But check this view out though, right? I mean, this is awesome. See, if you listen to Edgar, I said there's a path right here. Look at that, there's stairs. This is what happens, no one ever listens to me. So we walk back all this time. We're just taking three steps forward. All right, ready? Check this out. Up again, take more pictures. She's cold. Wait, is it locked? He locks it. Where do you want to go? Left or right? Let's go left. Okay. Then we'll come back up. The boss says go left. I go left. Stop. Follow Matt to the right. <laughs> oh, there's no me there. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Here, you can step on this rock. See how she gives me the, the hand with the rock on it? So I can show off. So she wants. Huh? This is not real life? No, it's not. Excuse me. Oh, this is beautiful. I mean, seriously. What? If you were actually here, this. Like, you wouldn't believe this. This looks like a painting. Like, if you look up an old painting, this is literally what we're looking at. Alright, I'm gonna let you go now. I gotta take some pictures. And, uh, we gotta get back on the road. So we got two more stops to make okay ciao all right so we stopped again we 
because it's just so beautiful. We can't get enough. We actually literally cannot get enough. There is a bunch of Sorry if it's windy, but here you go. recommend one I it looks it. like the waterfall. Yeah. yeah.
Oh, this is not good. Oh, wow. Hold on, yeah. Come into this crack and let him go. Keep going. You got a little bit. Yeah. Hey, baby. Go, go. Can you see? Yeah. It's really foggy back here. It's like I try. It's fine. That's fine. Foggy. Watch out. <laughs> here, I'll do that. What am I doing back right there? Keep going this way. Unless this is a one-way road or something. Well, maybe that's the one way up and this one one way down. This is coming this kind uh, Just mm, did you see a no enter zone no. or sign? Me neither. This is hilarious. Oh no, we're right. Why There's a yeah. just like tiny. My life and love gets flashing in front of my life. Alright, so then just make a left here. I have no choice. There's fat face. <laughs> what is fat face? I have no is idea. Is this Yeah, I just, I see it all oh, over. Yeah. This is a cute little town though. It is nice it's actually. Really Gainor Sports. Yeah, I saw that. Queens Hotel. Salutation Hotel. This is a very cheery place. The Edinburgh Woolen Mill. I don't know, bro. This is just a church. A church? <laughs> <laughs> what is up with your language today? Like, your speech is... I, I think all this beautiful landscape is just <laughs> messing with you. to leave the Lake District at 9. We're, it is now 10.30. We have like a five hour drive down to the Roman Baths. So, oh my. we'll see what happens now. But, um, I'm just gonna say goodbye for now. <laughs> yeah, they really should. You should do a review on UK Reds. They need to show up the shop right there. How does that Oh my god, look at this. Yeah, you imagine like sledding down this or something? No. no. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you, know, you can't see this. Alright, quick update. We are Somewhere. in the middle of nowhere, literally. There's a ton of traffic, so we got off. And now we're just in this crazy windy road with a drop on one side and a hill on the other side. Trees all over, we don't know when there's a car coming. It's fun, let's just say. <laughs> you can't actually see the job because according to Ingrid, they need to cut the shrubbery. And the trees. 
So, so we're gonna file a formal complaint when we get back. Oh, it's a big troll. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Here comes a giant truck. Oh my god! All right, ginormous truck versus wide M5. That's a turn. Oh, slow down. Slow down. All right, go. we're going. Continue on. Cotswold we're gonna go to, to the left. To the left. Yeah. We're going left. Thanks for telling me. G oh no, we're going straight. Okay. I don't know what's being retarded, but it's going really straight. We're good here. And there's a car coming out. Uh, at least that was for Hopefully, there are, any, hopefully there are any more kids Watch out. commuting in horses. <laughs> oh, yes. We we avoided some Not children. <laughs> and a mom and a child. Holy kids. <laughs> oh, my oh, goodness. We avoided two kids coming from school on a horse. So that, that just right there tells you where we are. We're in Cockadilly. We're in Cockadilly, I think, according to Ingrid. Oh goodness. Well, that's nice though. Look at that. Stop numero two. Baby, can you see me? Yes. Watch out on the road. So we've made it to stop number two. Uh, we're in Bath. We, we're going to go check out some Roman baths. Walk around the city or the little town. Because it's really nice. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. So I'll see what happens. Keep you guys up to date. Let's check this out. This is a little a little preview. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we made it in one piece. Alright. Um, I will see you guys later. Up, up, up. I thought you said this is like a little piece. I see a little bit of Walmart here, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, why is this so perfect right now? Why is this so perfect? I know, this is like the nicest cinema I've ever seen. Oh my god. It is. Where are we right now, Ingrid? We're in Bath. Where are we? Bath, in a movie. In a movie. So we're in a small town or village we're or Rome. something. That's basically Rome. But it's called Bath. So we're supposed to be going somewhere, but we're just wandering because it's so beautiful. No, it's up the road. I'm telling you. Because we're like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because we're in such awe that we're just like wandering around not really caring that we have to go somewhere oh my goodness
Gotta clean the lens. A little bit better. Private garden. Yeah, wanna just walk around then? That's where the cork. Looking good. It's a fountain. so bad I wouldn't try. You have to pay to get in here too? Oh my god. 150 to get in here? Jesus. Maybe that's where he didn't take us here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe that's why he pretended it never took us here. I don't think he's ever been here. Well, it's fine. I can see it just fine from here. There's like a castle back there too. So if I haven't mentioned it already, we are in love. In love with this place. So beautiful. It's in Bath, UK. I would re seriously recommend it to anyone and everyone. Probably like two, three hours driving from London. So to go. Or you come, I should say. Oh my God, I want to 
I live there. Right there with those balconies. We weren't going to, but we definitely can. Alright, one more up and then left. And we are there. <sighs> this place is just art, food, and spas. Every single place. definitely running behind on schedule but it's totally worth it um, I very much look forward to the rest of the trip and hope you can hear me but yeah this place is amazing definitely coming back Peace de Resistance Circus. Just a big giant roundabout. But look at this. This is some beautiful architecture. Beautiful details. And as far as I can see, it's just one long facade. It's one giant facade. That's amazing. Uh, let me guess. Tell me if you love it. I love it here. I want to move. You heard it. The boss says we're moving. So we'll be residents of Bath really soon. All right, bye. So we're actually heading back because we're running late. So fortunately, we have to go. But here's some more. My, my new goal in life is anytime I go somewhere, just rent a car. <laughs> yeah. And just, uh, and just yeah, yeah, just like drive somewhere. It's worth it. There are little places you will never know about. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like. Like when would you say you'll come out here? Yeah. And when is the plan? What time you have a plan? Let's go this way, let's go. Um. Oh, of course. So, like I was saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I saw. Like I was saying, you go. Every time I go somewhere, 
give myself at least two days extra just, just to drive around. Beautiful Land Rover Defender. Tons of those out here. Barely anything, if any, in the States. Uh, I think we can go straight down because we're not a car. Because we're not a car. What's going on? All right, let's go now. Oh, sorry. There's the church. Sorry. I'm just like looking everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what to look at. Yeah, we we look like we're lost. I'm here talking into a camera. I mean, whatever. This thing? Yeah. Like every nook and cranny is beautiful. Just amazing. You know what I like? Even the newer buildings, they're like mute, you know? So it doesn't take away from like. Yeah. Exactly. Norman Foster, you can learn a thing or two. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, Lord Foster. What's the other one? Stephen Hole, you can learn a thing or two. Um, you guys are great architects, but you don't have to show off every time. Oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like we went that way, didn't we? I feel like we could go down there. Oh, you're asking where we're going? Yeah. Oh, I think you wanted to go up there just to look at it. The new Theater Royale. Oh, a nice F-type over there. Yes, sir. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Oh, it looks like it's printed on a piece of paper. It's it printed. it does, but I think it is actually real. I think it's real. That's bizarre. That's freaky. Yeah, it definitely has. It definitely has relief. So. But why does it look like wallpaper? I don't know. So the argument is: is that texture or that relief there real, or is it printed and like like put on? like some sort of fake facade. And I believe it's real. It's just that bit there. Matt, do you think it's real or are you, are you convinced? I'm convinced. All right. Some strange phenomenon. And a beautiful Jaguar F-Type convertible. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just got somebody on. Ah, oh, Vino, Vino. Oh yes, that's the ones. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, not all of them, but some of them. <laughs> no. Perfect summertime car. I was hoping you were gonna use your GPS because I don't got nothing. Yeah, but it just it doesn't charge. But it runs like if you have like it's not, it will maintain, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Have we been on this street? No. Oh, yes, we have. Oh, we yeah, this is the balcony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna try to find the car to in some parking lot. Oh, can we go on the right? So I can go into Tesco, get something to drink, and maybe use the restroom? All right. So I'm gonna sign off here. All right, I'm gonna sign off here. And uh, we're just gonna run into Tesco, find the car, get on the road, and go to, go to Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Hopefully what? it's open. We doubt it. But. Hey, I said Tesco. Oh, let's just look. All right, so it is now 7.40. We've been driving for how long now? 13 hours. You said Jero went to the front. Okay. And we're coming up on Stonehenge and Ingrid's like freaking this is out. This what we're going to do. There's going to be an intersection and you're going to pull over. And there's a dirt road. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> no, it's just right no, here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So there it is, if you can see it, that's Stonehenge, uh, you can't probably even see it on this, it's like a little dot. <laughs> In 400 yards, you will have reached your destination. Your destination is on the right. <laughs> so there's Stonehenge, bam, there look at that, oh, that's a good picture if I can there grab that. Is. Ingrid, are you happy? You have reached your destination. Alright. So there should be a little road over here somewhere that you can go left. Which is probably private road in Clovis, but whatever. Right there, right here, right here, right here, right here. Slow down. Oh, yeah, but you can't get. Yeah, see, that's it. That's the big road. That was the road? That was the road. So do we want to spin around and see if we can get any closer over there or no? Look at how slow it's Oh yeah. I don't see anywhere that people can get into. Well, I think we had to turn on that roundabout. Oh, and go yeah, that yeah. way, yeah. Which is stupid. I don't know why I wouldn't have that right here. Well, it's like that other thing. Like, um, New Grange. Yeah. <laughs> So are you happy that you saw Stonehenge? Alright, did you take a lot of pictures? Oh yeah. Alright. Can we go to London now? Let's go to Alright, you're the boss. We're going to London. Catch okay. you later. Good morning. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing different clothes. But uh, the reason is... <clears throat> well, the reason is because we got home late basically and I was just too tired and just went to sleep uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just explain what happened after which will probably be the, will probably be the last clip that you saw which is uh, driving past Stonehenge um, at that point we were like super behind schedule um, and we just we headed straight towards London uh, we stopped to eat somewhere and uh, no, that's not true. We stopped to get gas because we had to return the rental at full um, with a full tank. Uh, then continued on to London. Uh, that was a big mess. Uh, we we actually decided to stay at a hotel near the airport um, for the first night. So uh, we have to move to the place that we're going to stay for the next few days. Um, so our friend Matt, who was driving and was wearing the white shirt yesterday uh, in the earlier videos, or clips, uh, he he dropped us off. We dropped off our bags and then we went with him to get food. We found this awesome um, Indian place, really good. Um, and then it was like a big mess from there to try to like get the car back and stuff. Um, so yeah, it was it was a pretty big deal. Uh, we ended up getting back here at 1 a.m. Um, at that point, we had been awake for 21 hours. Uh, after sleeping two hours the night, like, previously. 
So we were shot. So we just went to bed. Um, our friend Matt, who pretty much was in the same boat as, as far as, you know, hours awake and uh, hours slept, he actually, um, he went straight to the place he was going to stay for, you know, the rest of the, uh, his time here in London. And he actually got there like 3 a.m. Because I don't know if the trains weren't running or the tube wasn't running or if it was like off or uh, after a certain time they they don't run anymore so he had to take the bus all the way into London so yeah um, so that's why I'm making this video or this clip now but I just wanted to sign off um, just tell you guys if anyone is in London or visiting London uh, or uh, yeah, definitely go to Bath. That was awesome. Um, anyone going from London to Edinburgh or Edinburgh to London, definitely go by the Lake District. Uh, if you want to know exactly like where we went, um, just like let me know and I'll tell you. I'll give you the route that we took if you want. It was just amazing, like absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna start. The next day's video, which is now Saturday, so it's so today's Saturday. This is for the Friday video or the day of Friday, which will go live probably like later Saturday or Sunday. It's confusing, but I'm just gonna say bye. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, everything, just do it all. Uh, I really appreciate it. Alright, so thanks for watching guys. Bye.